Hello guys. I'm about to change motors to Flydinho and Via Copter 2208-80 brushless gimbal motors. In the previous guides I used the E-Flight gimbal motors. Uh, the difference is size, they are a couple of grams lighter and the space is just half the size of the E-Flight so this means that we only need one of, of the mounts when mounting to to the gimbal and what I have found is that it can be quite tricky to mount to mount this because the gimbal frame is pre-cut for the iFlight motor which has four holes for screws and the via copter motor only has three spaced 120 degrees so what we need to do is put on the spacer to get it flush and adjust the spacer until you have three holes that fits and then I found it to be easiest to put the motor on the table and then try to fit the gimbal frame it should be mounted with one hole in each cut slot and I'll take one screw and just Screw it in a little bit and we'll take next and finally the third and they are really tight so they barely fit and this damn screw won't So cooperative today. Uh, please fit into the hole into the motor prop. Oh, perfect. And the last one. And it should be able to be adjustable. Don't screw too hard. Just let them be loose because you need to be able to adjust it for for the CG. And we have the TBS mount plate. So that's quite simple. You need to fit fit the holes. And just and two screws. And you can do your preferred way. We are just using two screws. You can use either left or right or up or down, it's your choice or if you like to you can add two extra screws but it won't make a difference. And we have, okay, then we have the camera frame. 
and when you're using these motors you won't need uh, the spacer that you need on the iFlight motor because this is 2 millimeter and the frame is made of 2 millimeter so just fit the screws tighten them not too hard just perfect and we need to mount it on on the frame yes make it right then we need Groups. And again, it's not cooperative, but Okay, let's see if the frame is cooperative with me. Okay, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna add, I found this, some type of padding that followed a computer. I don't know what they are for, but I'm gonna use them as a spacer for the camera. So I'll just put them on the sides just to make sure that the camera will be more centered and it will be easier to know exactly where the camera is supposed to be and then I press it against the paddings in the sides here so it always get the same position for balancing the gimbal you should adjust it sideways and when you're done it should more or less stay at the same position when twisting mine is turning because this damn servo cables are disturbing let's see if i can it's the damn cable it should stay in the same spot and mine, mine is a little bit top heavy, but I'm not gonna care about it. So, add the connectors to the motor, and then we are just ready to mount it back on the Discovery.